afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for a midday update on the 16th of March, 2017, Thursday. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal. Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of market numbers, uh, basically we have US markets breaking to uh, breaking higher again, testing those highs on the uh, on the Dow and the uh, on the S and P, but the Nasdaq breaking to new highs, which is very very bullish, folks. Okay, Asian markets uh, overnight really sluggish. Uh, not, the Nikkei didn't actually move higher due to the fact that the dollar obviously collapsed, USDJPY collapsed, and therefore uh, the uh, trade didn't actually help there. Uh, export related uh, rally so again something to consider but the Hang Seng up a whopping 500 points up uh, 2% the uh, Shanghai up 0.8% Sensex etc everybody enjoying the global rally now the G German DAX as well uh, broke past the 12 on 100 level the uh, the Nick the French CAC as well the euro stocks all pushing higher the FTSE has actually broken through the 7400 it has retraced back on the back of hawkish boe but nevertheless certainly is building on that rally okay so that certainly seems to be the status quo uh, the miss yellen certainly wasn't as hawkish as everybody expected uh, she, rather than committing to potential uh, hikes go down the road she basically uh, talked gibberish okay that's the best way of summing it up okay uh, she talked gibberish she confused the market that was that's what her actual aim was as well and uh, she obviously had a word with mr trump but mr trump had instructed to her to uh, talk the dollar down because obviously uh, one of the uh, factors of uh, of uh, enhancing global growth and uh, increasing us competitiveness is a, a weaker dollar and that's his aim okay so i can't see him raising rates continuously or he, he, the Fed may well be hawkish and in its nature due, due to being forced by economic data that always is obviously coming ahead of expectations and inflation is certainly seen rising with oil prices recovering and stabilizing etc etc I'm not going to go into the economics of it but basically he can't afford the Fed to continuously hike rates and maintain its hawkish rhetoric because that will force dollar higher which in turn will hurt uh, US exports okay uh, which in turn obviously will uh, deteriorate or, uh, or deny him the ability to raise that revenue that he needs via his budget because it's already been rejected today so more exports more budgets etc etc uh, higher higher tax revenue obviously and that gives him the ability to spend and obviously uh, sustain the, uh, the, the the balance because he stated that he wants to cut the uh, the actual um, a massive deficit I think it's on three trillion or four trillion in the next 10 to 15 years so he has to do that in a way with his border adjustment tax etc etc i'm not going to go into the economics of it all but basically the way in which it seems to me is he's forced yellen to sound dovish okay which in turn has caused the uh, the actual dollar to to fall even though they are going to go ahead and hike rates interesting okay she's left the door open for the next rate hike so there's no guarantee the next rate hike obviously will go ahead yeah, it'll basically be subject to fiscal stimulus, obviously, and uh, obviously the situation or status quo on the uh, the U.S. economy. So she's certainly leaving her powder dry. Okay, that's that's my understanding of it. Okay, she wants to leave her options open. Okay, and she's certainly not committing to anything at all. And she obviously wanted to take some uh, some uh, some air out the dollar rally as well. So and that is, that certainly has been achieved. I mean, if you look at the actual U.S. dollar itself, let's bring up the U.S. dollar. Okay, you can see here dollar debauchery, your 60 minute chart is non constant, non stop uh, falling. Okay, so you can see the daily chart here now at the moment, certainly uh, into uh, support now on the horizontal axis. If we continue to fall, then we're looking to close the gap below at 132.9. That's if obviously everybody has lost faith in the actual Fed itself. Okay, so that's something to consider as well. Okay, so that's the status quo that we uh, where we are. Okay, in terms of economic data overnight, BOJ remained. Uh, flat basically same as nothing different in terms of the boj uh, no major movement usd jpy uh, if i look is back at 113 let's just quickly bring up the usd jpy trade as well because this is very important okay so daily chart certainly flushed that's mainly due to the dollar side of the equation as opposed to boj okay so you are looking at support down at the 111 level certainly in no man's land at the moment But USD JPY certainly seems to have stabilized here now. Okay, you've certainly got a bottoming tail. 
with that bottoming tail being confirmed at seven in the morning okay so again certainly a bottom in the dollar index so you're looking for the dollar index to rally and if that's the case then you're looking for the aussie dollar and the uh, kiwi dollar to fall as well and that's exactly what's occurred okay so that certainly is the status quo in terms of usd jpy in order for us equities to rally we need the usd jpy to rally which really it looks like it wants to do now okay so the dollar sell-off certainly is coming to an end so dollar higher us equities should be interesting to see how they react going forward post yellow so again always remember the 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 variables or the relationships between two variables don't always remain the same they can be uh, they're not constant change and constant change of flux okay so again constant flux constant change okay now in terms of economic data you have uh, cpi coming in line with europe okay so nothing major there everything was all about boe today really okay given the fact that uh, you got the boj and then you've got the uh, boe in the uk and uh, you certainly had one hawk okay so the boe certainly not as dovish as everybody expected which in turn has caused the uh, cable or gbp usd to spike to 1.235 now okay so all those attempting to fade the gbp trade certainly have failed okay you're looking at the housing stats now as well let's see how that plays out building permits jobless claims And jolts data as well later on. So if that's if they all come out stronger than expected, then you are looking at a potential reverse and a rally in the dollar index. Okay. Now let's see exactly where the European equities are trading at. Okay. So let's go over to the uh, German DAX now. A daily chart. You can see you've got that rising contracting wedge type pattern. So again, all eyes on the German DAX. The weekly chart. Realistically, the next real resistance is seen at 12,400. So nothing stopping that at present. Although uh, a hawkish draggy and a, uh, a do more than dovish uh, yellen uh, certainly is has thrown spanner in the works for that potential rally um so again just keep an eye on that in touch in regards to the euro being at 1.0730 now it's certainly hurting exports so again that's certainly something that needs to be taken into consideration here in terms of the next move okay this is where this is a status quo this is where we stand okay so 60 minute chart the german dax re uh, testing that uh, previous support equals resistance uh, or previous resistance equals support on the uh, german dax 10 minute chart at the moment we're coming into potential previous resistance equals support if the german dax continues to sell off then you are looking at a uh, gap fill below and then multiple support zones below so the german dax certainly looks vulnerable okay that that's something that we can certainly uh, state looking at the uh, 10 minute chart so certainly vulnerable to a, a deeper pullback okay so certainly keep an eye on the german dax in terms of the french cac french cac really has gone nowhere to be honest with you if i bring up the daily chart you can see we're still uh, uh, basically at that key resistance zone the to topping tail was uh, 5022 i think that's more or less the high a uh, 60 minute chart at the moment you've got key diagonal trend line holding if you do continue to flush then you are looking at gap fill support so again all eyes on that gap level looking for that gap level to close 10 minute chart at the moment you have an unfilled gap below at uh, 4965 whether or not we can close that is a different story altogether you can certainly see that the highs have been rejected at five uh, five eight um, so five zero thirty and again like i said all eyes on the gap fill below okay now in terms of the euros uh, the FTSE 100 sorry let's just bring up the FTSE here okay so FTSE itself certainly coming off the highs in the back of that hawkish boe okay a daily chart at the moment putting in a topping tail so again so some cause for concern so just bear that in mind okay certainly cause for concern from my perspective with that topping tail certainly isn't a healthy sign 60 minute chart certainly a bearish engulfing candle looking to consolidate now uh, let's see if we can hold previous resistance equal support or over 7390 if that fails then obviously that certainly is bearish okay so certainly is a fake out and we could get a powerful reversal so again that's something certainly to take on board okay 10 minute chart the FTSE 100 we've retraced here now if we take the pivot low take it to the pivot high so yesterday's close uh, you're looking at a uh, retracement of 50% now again looking to uh, potentially close the gap so just bear that in mind you're looking at closing the gap the gap remains at uh, 7370 so from my perspective any retracement here on the FTSE really is a selling opportunity and that's exactly what I'll be doing okay so just giving you that uh, potential trade setup okay let's quickly go over to euro stocks now okay so euro stocks certainly pushing higher as well 
daily chart the euro stocks holding that topping tail again like i said hawkish draghi uh dovish yellen certainly sending the euro higher euro higher certainly hurts the export trade which again which europe needs Again, it's a deflation battle globally. Okay, so it's about past the button. Okay, 60 minute chart isn't exactly very convincing in terms of a higher high. And from my understanding and my interpretation, you, you one would be searching for gap fill below, gap fill being 3410. Okay, so that's my summation of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.